All right, guys. So today I want to show you how to set up a non-linear trigger activation with SimNexus. This is the second part of six videos in which I will show you all trigger features of SimNexus. In the second part you have learned how to set up hair triggers. If you haven't watched it yet, then you can find a link to it in the video description. A non-linear trigger activation allows you to accelerate or deaccelerate the ramp up speed of your trigger input. This can for example be useful for bows or other weapons that require a fast or slow ramp up speed. You can also use it to quicken up your trigger behavior and make it feel a lot more responsive. Now, before we head into the setup guide, let's first cover how the Nexus triggers operate. This will be necessary to understand the setup process of today's video. This will also help you to understand the other 5 trigger features that I will show you in the next few videos. By the way, if you have watched any of the other 5 videos already, then you can skip this step as you will have already heard it. Nexus differentiates between two trigger states. The first one is a trigger press percentage. This is the distance you physically press a trigger into the controller. It is 0% when you don't press a trigger and 100% if you fully bottom it out. There are of course also values in between, such as these two. The second trigger state is a trigger output percentage. This is a percentage value that the controller will send to the console or PC. On a normal controller, both states will always have the same percentage. So if you press the trigger to the 50% mark, then your controller will send a 50% input to the console or PC. And with Nexus you have the option to fully customize that. Nexus for example allows you to send a 20% trigger output to the console, when in reality the trigger is physically pressed to the 50% mark. Or you can have a 100% trigger output when the trigger is physically pressed by 1%. This is what you call a hair trigger and you can find the setup steps in the first part of this series. Now to set up today's feature, just go into the button bindings of your Nexus config. If your config isn't running on the expert mode yet, then you will have to activate it at the bottom of your config. After that, swipe three times to the right to enter the button bindings. Start by adding a new binding to the right trigger. You do that by clicking onto the corresponding button picture. After that, click into the new binding. The threshold value at the top can stay at 1%. The threshold value is a trigger press percentage. All we have to change here now is to adjust the button bindings right below. Click on the right trigger picture and after that set the output percentage to zero. You do that by moving the slider to the left side. You can leave this menu now and create a second trigger binding by clicking onto the picture again. Next you have to load its binding menu. The press percentage at the top will now be set to 30. And for the binding, we will go with the right trigger again. Also set its output percentage to 80% this time. At last, let's take care of the third binding. So leave this menu again and create a new binding. Once again, open its menu and set the press percentage to 100. The binding itself will be the right trigger again and for the output percentage, we will pick a value of 100. You can do that by moving the slider to the right side. That is already it, the setup is now complete. So what we have done now is the following. Instead of a linear output activation, we have split the trigger activation into two areas. In the first one we heavily accelerate the output percentage and in the second one we deaccelerate it. Above the output slider you can see a red mark when I press the Nexus trigger. It displays the current trigger output percentage. I will now slowly and at constant speed press the Nexus trigger from 0 to 100%. When I slowly press my trigger from 0 to 30%, the controller will ramp up the output percentage from 0 to 80%. So 80% of my output percentage are concentrated into the first 30% of my physical controller trigger. As you can see, in this area the output ramps up much faster than it normally would. And for the second range, so anything above 30%, it's the opposite. The remaining 20% of the output percentage are spread out across the last 70% of the Nexus trigger. This is why the red marker is moving so slow. 
Not only does this give you much more control over the last 20% of the output percentage, but it also allows you to rapidly skip the first 80% of it. This can for example be useful for bows. Usually the first 70-80% to of the controller trigger are used to draw the bow. And only the last few percent will determine on when you will shoot it. So with our setup we will have an excellent control over the arrow and we can also reduce the time it takes to draw the bow. This is of course also helpful for normal weapons, as the first 40-50% to of the output percentage are usually not used. Most weapons will start to shoot at 60-70%, to so anything below that can be heavily accelerated. For reference I will now show you how a normal controller activation would look like. As you can see the red marker moves at a constant speed to the right side. You can save your progress now and exit your config. In the next episode I will show you how to set up multi bindings. So guys if you enjoyed the video hit the like button or maybe even subscribe to this channel to not miss out on any of the upcoming videos. Also, contrary to popular belief, this channel is not an official Zim channel. I run this channel in my free time to bring you guys the latest Zim news and tricks. So if you want to support what I do, then maybe consider to join the YouTube channel membership. Channel members usually get around 1-4 to four weeks of early access to all new videos. Plus we also have a nice little discord to discuss Zim settings and other stuff. But that's about it for this video guys. Thanks for watching and I will maybe see you in the next one.